U.S. Senator Dan Coats is in town today discussing what issues Hoosiers are facing. News 18's Holly Campbell sat down with the senator to discuss attacks affecting local companies and recent threats to the U.S. Senator Dan Coats made a stop in Lafayette to discuss a number of issues impacting Hoosiers. A hot topic the Republican senator discussed was the medical device tax affecting Hoosier jobs and people who rely on devices like hearing aids or insulin pumps. It was an egregious tax on gross sales. Uh, it is very detrimental to Indiana, particularly given the number of medical device companies we have per here in the state, including Lafayette. Uh, Cook has three plants. In January, Cook Biotech's president told News 18 if the tax is put in place, it could increase the price of medical devices. Cook manufactures more than 15,000 products. But in a 79 to 20 vote, the Senate repealed the proposed 2.3 percent tax increase. 32 Democrats jumped on board for the vote. I was very pleased that Republicans and Democrats together voted in an overwhelming way to repeal this tax. It was a shot across the bow of the White House uh, trying to impose this. And it's a big win for the medical device people, but it's a big win for Indiana. Another pressing topic Coates discussed impacts not only Hoosiers, but the whole country. The isolated country of North Korea has made recent threats of using nuclear weapons to attack the U.S. Coates says Washington is working with North Korea's ally to the north. We have to uh, make sure North Korea understands that this is unacceptable. We have put a show of force in over there. We are working with the Chinese. Uh, they probably have more leverage against North Korea than we do. While facing threats from North Korea, Coates says the military may face budget cuts. There are a lot of uh, dangerous spots around the world and challenges uh, to the United States and its security uh, and to the world. Uh, that's why we need to keep a strong military in place. Uh, some of these uh, imposed uh, cuts against the military I think were unwise. The senator says a strong military is crucial to protect the security of Americans. Holly Campbell, News 18.